What's up, everyone? This is Christian Duke. You're watching Strength Addicts Live here on Instagram, brought to you courtesy of BlackstoneLabs.com, the holy grail of bodybuilding supplements. Guys, my favorite product is Glycolog. What's yours? Also, if you're looking to get involved in the fitness industry, there is no better way to do so than by applying to join the Blackstone Labs Legion. But do it today. Don't procrastinate. Do it right now. Also, big thank you to our supporting sponsor, TitanMedicalCenter.com, your go-to source for all your hormone replacement therapies, their brand new ECAA Stack Plus that's got everybody talking, injectable vitamins, glutathione, and so much more. So today, our guest, Greg Mueller, uh, I'm probably mispronouncing his last name. My last name is Duke. A lot of people call me Dukey, and that's the payback for me mispronouncing your name, is uh, just fresh off celebrating two years in the Black Soul Labs Legion. Also, Omni Muscle celebrates two years as well. So we're going to bring Greg on, and I do appreciate your time a couple times, and it's just been pretty well, three hours apart, you know. What's up? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Thank you so much for accommodating me and doing a different time. I do appreciate it very much. Okay. I'm not sure if you were joking, but it's actually Muller. Muller. Okay. What did I say? Yeah. Mueller. Mueller. Yeah, I see. I don't know because you see, you 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 kind of like tripped me up because you were like, guess how to say my name, and so I know that's German, right? It's got to be German. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was you, translated a couple different ways from Germany. One was M U E L L E R, ah, no. mm -hmm. and then the other one dropped the umlaut, so it went from Mueller to Muller. Right. And it, yeah, <laughs> and the umlauts are so cool. If you guys don't know what that is? Check out Motley Crue or Motorhead. I mean, like the two, like that's so cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, my um. Uh, my uncle's wife, their maiden name is actually Mueller, and it, but it's with the U-E. So I wasn't sure, mm. but there's like a million different ways to say it, and they're from Chile. There's a bunch of Germans in Chile. So I get that a lot. I get the Mueller because people look at the U, and then they just pronounce the letter U. So they're like, oh, it's got a U in it, so it's Mueller. <laughs> right. It, yeah. it almost sounds like Bueller, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, I was going to say that when we were sending DMs that I've gotten that before in the past, Bueller. Bueller, right. Mueller. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. So I want to thank everybody that's here. Not a lot of people. We had actually a, a few more people the first uh, time around, but um, you hadn't seen the notification. And I got the updates, and it looks totally different. Instagram's always updating, but the beauty is people will see it on replays, and we'll chop it up and do reels and stories. But I, I'm surprised, man. Like, I, like, to me, it is so cool uh, that we have this platform, because I thought for sure Instagram – when Instagram first came out, I didn't think it was going to last, and now it's like – everybody is on Instagram. It's like the place to be. Mm -hmm. I still wish they had the 24 hour replays, but they took that away during COVID, I guess, because so many people were doing IG lives that they didn't have, I don't know, the storage or the bandwidth to keep all that extra footage for the full right. 24 hours. Yeah. Well, well now what it does, I, I do miss that. Now what it does, it goes straight to IGTV. So this is going to be available like, you know, forever. Mm -hmm. And then, I know a lot of people, they don't save it. And so that's, that's where like, I'll end up missing stuff or if PJ doesn't save something where he does a live like he used to back in the day. Um, like I always used to catch up on those or do my cardio and then I'd watch it if I missed it because I'm on the West Coast. So he'd be doing them so early that I'd still be sleeping. Right. So where are you at exactly out West? In Spokane, Washington, Pacific Northwest. Nice. I've never been to Washington. I always wanted to go to Spokane and, and uh, Seattle, especially uh, Portland, Oregon, that whole, that little area right there. And well, then, that was my, that was my train of thought. I grew up, uh, 23 years in New York. So it was quite a change to come all the way out here. That's so cool, man. I mean, that area there and across uh, the border also BC, like, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Victoria or, or British Columbia, but as they say, it's mm -hmm. just amazing. Yeah. Before they required the enhanced driver's license, I got to go up through BC and then up to Calgary and Edmonton and it was beautiful. Wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. And you know, the thing too with PJ, uh, you know, the, the cardios, they're coming back, I'm sure of it, but he's so busy. He's like slammed, you know what I mean? And it's like so many things are going on. But, you know, the, the Legion, I really feel like, you know, doing this, uh, Jared's been really killing it. Uh, Jared Brown, really, really killing it, uh, always killing it. Um, but uh, I, I just I'm so proud of Legion, uh, you know, Greg, because especially with the uh, the factory madness thing over Nutrition Factory, I mean, we cleaned house and it wasn't mm. like, you know, it wasn't some coincidence. I mean, we beat revive we destroyed redcon nothing against them but we destroyed them we destroyed access sledge we we, de we just beat everybody we beat optimum nutrition I mean, these companies are like i mean these are like just i mean we just destroyed them but on paper yeah, everybody rallied together and united and took care of business so that was awesome 
And it was consistent. That was the thing. It was really, really consistent. And uh, even companies that have, you know, allegedly four or five times the number of followers that we do, we still beat them. And again, followers, what, you know, who are they? You know what I mean? Are they like Legion followers? Probably not. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people who couldn't believe it. They're, they're like, Oh, how can this be? <laughs> I saw right. some of the comments uh, where people were getting pretty salty, but it's like, you, if you have the organization, then the rest is downhill. Well, you know, the thing is, a lot of people were saying, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, we're just doing it for fun. They were saying that until they lost. Then it was like, you know, then it was personal. And that was like you stole their bicycle or something, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you post a lot of stuff. I don't know if you compete or not, but you post a lot of training stuff. And you're not ready really... for the competing yet. Uh, I'm almost six foot. And so I've always had a fast metabolism growing up. Mm. And so uh, right now, well, for last P BPJ, I cut down to about 160, so I was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty low body fat uh, for my standards, not like for stage standards. But uh, I was able to up that by 20 pounds this year for my new photos, which I haven't released yet because I was waiting for the actual uh, finals to come out before I release any of my photos. Okay. Just uh, for like, if I do make the top 25, that there'll be uh, that surprise element where I don't know what picture they're going to select, so I don't want to post post anything yet and that's good strategy too greg i mean I, I think a lot of this is also it's kind of like a chess game right in a way and and you just you gotta you gotta know exactly when to drop it and and, and yeah I, I totally get that um so you've been in the legion for two years which i think is um what did he say oh, he's hilarious but but the thing <laughs> omni muscle yeah i love omni muscle and omni muscle it g gave you a great yeah, he's a great guy yeah and i think omni and you share that in the sense that you guys always like people's posts. I, 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 I cannot, I cannot speak enough about that because it's like, whether you like a post, comment on a post, repost a post that, that sends so much love to the person putting that out. Cause a lot of times people, when they, if they don't feel like a reaction, they'll just stop posting. They'll just go, go. Yeah. It's, it's infectious. We're like, if you like something of theirs and it help, helps you in some way, then they'll return the favor. And it just kind of like everybody connects through the, through the platform in that way. Definitely, definitely. So you've been in the Legion, like Omni, for two years. It sounds like you guys started the same day, which is insane. We got yeah, I noticed that after uh, when we were doing the, uh, when I did the post and then he made a comment and then I said to him, because I checked his profile because I was just interested. I'm like, how long has he been with the Legion? And then I was like, oh, right down to the same exact day as when he posted his, his uh, picture. That's insane, man. That same is, day, same year. That's crazy. That is crazy. So tell us, what does it mean to you to be in the Blackstone Labs Legion, especially after two years? Um, well, with the Legion, um, even before I was in it, I could see the impact that it was having on people through the previous beat PJs and through um, either comp competitors posting pictures or through actual – um, call reps where they have they have their own part in the in the legion where they're posting their picks and their competition pictures and so I thought it was really cool and I always liked PJ from from what I've seen from him online either uh, whether it be Delray Misfits related or if it was uh, something where he's just making his own posts getting information out there I just thought he's uh, really helpful always willing to lend a hand always reaching out to people who need his guidance and so that's uh, something that was really important to me when it came to making the decision. And then through the chats, I was hearing about this Legion. And I'm like, what is this? And went to the website and uh, figured out how I could apply. And then I got accepted. So it was great. Very cool. Very cool. And again, everyone's going to see this on replay. And, and I think it's just so powerful that you first did your homework, that you really identify with PJ and really identify with the team. And then you applied. Because I think sometimes people, you know, uh, with the Legion, this doesn't happen, but with other programs, they apply and they're like, there's no family here. There's no structure. There's no, there's no future. There's nothing. And so that's why so many people are dissatisfied with the programs around the fitness industry, not naming any, any names. But um, when people come to the Legion, I mean, truly, it is a real family. And, you know, when we spring into action, uh, and that's why I cannot, I cannot play down this factory madness enough because it was not a one off. It was like four, five, six times week after week the legion just keep you know kept coming through and winning it and it's like that's not a coincidence it's just not you know um with regards to products though over the course of two years 
uh, and, and as much as you love to lift, like what's, what's your favorite Black Soul Labs product or products? Yeah, products would probably be a better, a better way to go about it because there's been so many and they all have different benefits. So there's different, different applications for each when you're cutting. It might be either the Arson or the Viper X. Uh, let's see, for going to the gym or just general recovery, we got the BCAA Resurgence. Um, for my age, since I just turned uh, 40 the end of the last year, uh, there would be like the IGF, IGF, uh, the yeah. SST, mm -hmm. SST, IGF, and GH kit. And so with that one, that one's really important for, for making sure that you recover because you're not 20 years old anymore. So you're having a, a little bit more trouble with recovery or just making sure that you have enough uh, energy and that you're not taxing, taxing your uh, system too much. Mm -hmm. So well, where your CNS would get worn out and things like that, I noticed that benefit um or just with recovery in general definitely have you tried uh, apex mail no i haven't tried apex mail i actually also really like um abnormal hmm. i noticed with the abnormal i i actually injured my shoulder in 2017 and i had to do quite a lot of rehab on that and then only within a couple of years after that i injured my wrist and i had um it's almost like carpal tunnel uh, I was chopping wood and I extended the ligament that goes from the, from the thumb back and then through the back of the forearm. And okay. when I was trying to do curls, like I couldn't even do curls or bend my wrist and it was like burning sensation as I was trying to, trying to lift. It was actually my, my left side. Hmm. And so, um, yeah, I noticed just through, just through using certain, certain products and also, um, one of them that's not available anymore, uh, orthobolic, that one I was using a lot. And that really helped helped as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I guess with regards to your training, though, like what what do you like to do the most in the gym? Because I've seen uh, pictures and videos of all sorts of things, and and you're very proud of your midsection, which is quite tight actually for a tall guy, especially. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, definitely. What, what what do you like? Are you like a back guy, a shoulder guy, a chest guy, arm guy, leg guy? What what do you like to? What's your 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 muscle of choice uh, that you get excited about each week to train? Well. I was going to touch on the, on the abs. The one part of the abs that really bothers me is the, is the lower, the lower part. Cause I seem to have trouble getting rid of uh, love handles and like right below the belly button, the cortisol area. And the, I noticed the adrenal care that, that helps with, uh, with stress hormones. And so that one I've been, I've been using as well. So there's a lot of different applications for all the different, all the different products. Um, I didn't necessarily get as lean as I wanted as I wanted to either last year or this year because I'm trying to mostly focus on size. Hmm. So I was trying to kind of recomp and dial it back to get to a lean lean enough condition to take my pictures. But at the same time, I don't want to get so lean that I set myself back through having to go through a whole um, what is that reverse dieting phase right. and all that. Yeah, there's yeah, it's just so much. What what are your thoughts on adrenal care? Do you like it so far? Yeah, yeah, that one's really good. It seems like seems like uh, anything that can ke help keep the cortisol down because uh, stress just like causes like your body just to hold on to everything in the lower, lower section for the, for the abs and midsection. Yeah. I was going to say, because I mean, like, I, I feel like your waist is small. I mean, you know, for a tall guy, but like you said, if the lower part of the abs is giving you trouble, yeah, the adrenal care should, you know, definitely make a difference. So, but you sound really, really knowledgeable on the whole line. And I think that's really powerful as well. You're always putting out your code, which is really effective as well. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, two years in the Legion, you probably learned quite a bit and you probably brought, you know, something to the table as well, because, you know, fitness industry being what it is, I mean, like there's all sorts of things to learn, but um, I just think that like your, your page is just really, really good. And hopefully like with this interview and others, it'll grow even more. Um, but I, I just like the realness of it all. I mean, you're not, you're not Thanks. out there like, yeah, you're not like, you're not like begging for followers. Like some people do that. Mm -hmm. And I think the best way to get followers is just being yourself, you know? Yeah, well, I was going to say, um, like with my posts, it kind of goes to, to motivation. Like with the Blackstone Legion, it's great to have, it's great to have motivation. And I've seen other people in the, in the Legion talk about this, but I've noticed over the years that it's not the motivation that keeps you going to the gate to get you into a habit. But once you're in the habit, hmm. then it's dedication. So you have to actually get to the point where you realize that motivation is very fickle. Like you, you need something that even if you don't feel like going, 
you can leave the house and you're back in that mindset when you're driving to the gym that, oh, five minutes ago, I didn't feel like going, but now I'm in the car and I'm back into my routine and I know what I'm going to accomplish when I get into the gym. And so I think that's really important for people to kind of differentiate the difference between motivation and dedication, because if you have dedication, you don't need motivation. Absolutely. And it sounds like the Legion plays a pretty big role in that. Mm -hmm. And then you, to go back on the training, um, I actually got together with Cornelius Parkin at the end of 2019. So he's been my coach ever since. Nice. Um, so you're, you're a he, boy. Yeah. And nice. so uh, he's, he's, uh, he's coaching Bree Marshall, who turned pro, uh, Kyle Puckett, Ariana Brothers. Um, so those are all pros that are under his wing. And uh, I'm hoping that I can get to a size to where I could actually get to a point where I'd feel comfortable competing. But right now at being uh, 5'11", almost six foot, and being under 200 pounds, I don't think that's something that I want to do to step on the stage. Um, like at the 180 right now, I'm trying to get from the 180 now to the 200. So that's my next goal. For sure. For sure. I love Ariana Brothers. I actually interviewed her when she got her pro card. She's awesome. Uh, Kyle Puckett is awesome. I mean, I can sit here and talk to you about like people like Arnold or you know, Lou Ferrigno, but I want to ask you about a real bodybuilding superstar. What do you think about uh, Dale Chance? Um, <laughs> I think people don't give him enough credit. He's they awesome. always give him, they always give him credit for the third place the wins, third place, the third but place they don't give him credit for the first place win. They, they ignore that. <laughs> yeah. They give him such a hard time. Dale, Dale and I have been doing interviews forever. I love Dale. Uh, but he, you know, that, you know, if, if, if somebody could do like a seminar on how to deal with haters and trolls, Dale would be the guy, you know, but he, it, it, it just bounces off of him and he's able to take it in stride. And that's why he's been just so successful uh, because people in that car accident that he was in, I mean, you know, that car accident, he shouldn't, you know, that mm -hmm. was, you, that's a you, lot to come back from. Yeah. You, let's say you're driving in a car, I'm driving a car, you look over, you see that you don't think anybody survived that. I mean, that, that's, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. The wreckage of that car was, terrible like it couldn't even be recognized that it was a yeah. mustang and then not only that but you know you know he's you know he's trying to get himself back to walking and now the guy's training like a monster in the gym again he's talking about making a comeback so it's like i mean and, and you know he's not going to be like a men's physique guy either I mean, there's nothing against men's physique but this is a thick-ass bodybuilder you know so um again i think that goes back to the motivation you know uh doctors can tell you oh you may never walk or but you get the motivation and it's just, it, 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 it's, it's almost like adrenaline, really. It really is like a shot of adrenaline. So I totally know what you're talking about. And I think it's important what you said too, uh, Greg, differentiating motivation from dedication. You know what I mean? I think that's a, that's a pretty big deal because like you said, you may not want to go to the gym, but something happens while you're on the way there and now you want to go. So it's mm -hmm. just, it's just getting in the car, turning the, you know, just that's, I think that's pretty, pretty important. And um, then with uh, Cornelius, he has me, um, where it's a rotation. And so we try to keep, keep the body guessing, mm. which is kind of, kind of cliche, but it's like, uh, it's like every so many cycles, you'll go from a certain rep range to another rep range, yeah. um, or you'll reverse the order of the exercises. So that way your body doesn't get used to anything. Besides that, I've just tried, um, Patrick tours, um, SST sarcoplas sarcoplasm training. Mm. Um, so I've been trying to incorporate like rest pauses and um, different, different methods um, like that thrown into it. Uh, especially like, I know some people do it for the arms where they just go back to back. So you'll, so be do, doing buys and tries through the whole, through the whole thing um, just to get a, a pump. Cause they say that the pump usually is what'll increase arm size. So I'm trying to work on my weak points, which is like my limbs and my chest uh, and other areas. Uh, well, to try to bring guy. those up. Yeah. You get, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you're a Almost tall guy, fine. so you got to fill out. So that's going to be hard for you for the arms, but you could totally do it. Mm -hmm. So like the the bodybuilders I look up to is like uh, Bob Paris or uh, Mike Francois. So like I'm kind of an old school throwback guy. Nice, nice. So well, I'm trying, to, trying to get to in Ohio. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to something something uh, comparable to that. Definitely. That would be great. Well, I want to thank you. I really do, man. I really, I, I don't really do this early, but. Uh, we, we covered some ground, some good ground. Um, Cornelius, I got to say, man, is a hell of a great coach. And, uh, you know, one of the things, one of his crowning achievements, uh, I mean, now the guy's sick, so I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, uh, like, focus too much on it. But he beat Boston Lloyd. 
you know, Cornelius mm -hmm. beat Boston. Lloyd yeah, I was Boston. actually going to bring that up with, yeah. uh, with the whole, um, I'm trying yeah. to think of what that was, the Border Clash 2016, mm -hmm. and then they had a lot of drama, but then now they've, they've made up and they're yeah. friends, yeah. and we're talking about doing podcasts together and things yeah, like sure. that, so Water yeah, Under the sure. Bridge. And, and Cornelius is not, I would, would not consider Cornelius a misfit, but he's in the, he's in the realm, but he's, mm -hmm. he's so knowledgeable and he, he is such a great coach and a great competitor. He doesn't compete anymore, but he was a great competitor and he, you know, he was a badass. you know what I mean? So, um, well, he's trying to make a comeback right now. I think he's trying to shoot for his uh, pro card. If he could do it, he could totally do it. That, he's, he putting on a, it. he's putting on a lot of size and, um, uh, I was trying to think, um, Oh yeah, I was going to mention that um, if anybody hasn't checked out his IG, like his stories have tons of great information, and there's even some pros that are that I noticed are following where he'll oh, repost sure. that they're following him as well. For sure. But I want to I want to thank you though very much. I want to congratulate you on two years. Uh, I think it's great you're working with Cornelius. I think it's great you love old school bodybuilding. I think your page is awesome. So I want to thank you again for doing this, and uh, I think we're going to do a lot more of this in the future. So uh, thank you for taking the time. All right, great. Thanks for all the great interviews. Awesome, for sure, for sure. I'll chop this up. It'll be reels everywhere. I'll try to make you famous as best as I can. But just keep being you, man, and the, the followers will come. Uh, followers, they, they, I think they, the people really, truly appreciate realness and uh, just being yourself. And uh, I think the rest is just going to happen all on its own. So uh, tell me, say your name for me. It's Greg Muller. Greg Muller. Perfect. It's very important. So for Greg Muller, this is Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thank you, my man. All right. Talk to you later.